<laughs> a couple of months ago, I got what I thought was a brilliant idea. The three of us were taking a road trip together, and Bianca kept singing in the car. And then I heard that Ron actually plays a little bit of sax. And because I've been playing just a little bit of sax, and since I've been playing the drums since I was a kid, I started. I thought. Let's start a band and yeah. videotape it. That's right. I didn't think you were serious. Obviously, you were. It sounded like a decent idea, but was it? <laughs> Check it out. You all saw Dan's percussion prowess in his face off with Max Weinberg. Dan, you are a drummer in the Drummers Fraternity. Thank you. And Biana likes to sing. Don't you want me to I played a little saxophone a couple of decades ago. So we decided to challenge ourselves. Could we take this ragtag group of musical misfits and form a band and learn a song in two weeks? Making the challenge more intense, the folks from Rock of Ages were gracious enough or foolish enough to let us do it on their stage live on Broadway. Every band starts with practice, and we needed plenty. my butt kick today in the first practice for some reason for some reason I thought Steve Perry's Don't Stop Believing would be an easier song for me to sing. How are you? Great. You got your work cut out for you brother. What I neglected to mention to my bandmates was that while I may have started playing sax more than 20 years ago why am I getting no sound out of here? I never quite finished. <laughs> It's getting closer. I got you. Yep, you'll be in Journey in no time. <laughs> if I don't do well, it's not going to be the end of my life. I don't think. I might get tarred and feathered, but I'll live. My understanding is that Bianca picked this song. You know, we're supposed to be a family, so why do we always hurt the ones we love? This is not an easy song to play on the drums. I'm a little just worried. Ba, 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 Okay. Close. Okay. So like, that's a pretty good start. I'm definitely nervous, but I feel more confident because I know that Bianca and Ron are suffering more than I am. We all gathered as a band at a studio in Manhattan with literally no clue what to expect from one another. Bianca arrived first and got some one-on-one -on -one time with the music director from Rock of Ages. You're getting to it like sort of by the, by the middle of the line. Mm -hmm. You gotta burst out with the energy at the beginning of the line. Good. That's better. Ron hadn't had a chance to practice very much, so he needed some one-on-one -on -one time with our band's special coach. And at long last, we were ready to let it rip. Okay, two of us needed a little help. A lot of help. Uh, to me, it sounds awful. Just a small town girl. You're still pulling back a little bit, all right? You have to really let it go. It sounds awful. It doesn't sound awful. Somewhere in the night. Yes! That is better. Okay. Own that. For some reason, it doesn't seem like it's playing right. Something might be wrong with the saxophone, actually. They say it was a poor craftsman blames his tool. Well, this tool was uh, bent. Take the leaks out, replace the spring on it, and you should be good to go. Now I'm ready. Now I'm oh, back. Yeah, I'm can. back. I'm back. <laughs> The night of the show, we had one final group rehearsal on the stage where our fate would be decided. Good enough for Broadway? 
It better be, because tomorrow we face this. Don't stop. <laughs> best moment of that. Of best moment of that when Ron comes in on the sax and <laughs> that first rehearsal. And it sounded like there was a <laughs> duck that was, was dying. Broken. It was broken in my defense. My Our producer's defense. camera started shaking <laughs> as soon as Ron. <laughs> started on the sax from laughter. We'll talk later. Now listen, I'm not, I'm not one to talk. You know, can I just say that the person who had the toughest job here, yeah. for real, was Bianca Goldriga. It Absolutely. takes real heart to do what you did. I am incredibly impressed, and I haven't even let the audience see the final product yet. You're going to be impressed, You know, too. it is a bit disconcerting, though, when our producers, who love us dearly, said, you know, we don't have to do this if you don't want to <laughs> after watching that. It was a little that. late at that point, too. But we endured. And, and tomorrow you'll see the final yeah. show. In fact.